You know, one of the big problems of um, people who stop drinking alcohol is they don't change what's happening after they stop. They don't put any thought or attention or time into planning or um, achieving what they can what they can achieve to look at their own potential. And it's one of the things that you have to do. I mean, the, the stopping drinking alcohol is an end. It's a time when you're basically pushing yourself um, to the next chapter in your life, to the next level. And stopping drinking alcohol is the thing that you must do in order to move on to that next level. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck in this vortex for the, for the rest of your life. But it's not just the alcohol that you need to get rid of, it's the instant gratification mentality. Uh, and that's a similar beast, but it, it revolves around the whole uh, wider range of, um, of parts of your life, if you like. You know, it, the instant gratification mentality can sneak outside of just the alcohol drinking and can include, you know, sitting on the couch and doing nothing, your diet, your education, the way you think about yourself, the, what you do, your posture, your, everything, you know, can be in that, uh, sucked into that instant gratification mentality because it's a way of thinking. It's a way of um, doing thing, things. When you stop drinking alcohol, you have the possibility of so much. Uh, your life ahead of you, your life ahead of you anyway is an open book and you're its author. Um, whether you stop drinking alcohol or not, it doesn't really um, change that fact that what happens in front of you, you you've, you've got to, to write, but um, the choice is yours. A lot of people don't think that they have the choice when, they, when it comes to stopping drinking, they think, oh no, this is it. Um, this is who I am, this is what I, I do, but you do. Every time you pick up that glass, you have a choice to do or not to do. Um, and that's just a fact about it. So um, you have a choice to carry on doing what you're doing or to be smart. And to be smart, you've got to learn. In order to be smart in a different way, you've got to experience life in a different way. You've got to learn different lessons and apply those lessons and then gradually build your life from there. Do you get what I mean? So like I said, it's following a plan uh, making sure you stick to the plan and then moving forward step by step by step patience is a key here you know rome wasn't built in a day uh, and neither is your new life it's going to take a while for it to to um to come about but the potential is there imagine your potential is out there waiting in front of you and all you have to do is go out there and grasp it unlock your potential but that's all it is it's just potential until you go out there and unlock it it's waiting for you <laughs> but most people won't do anything about it you know most people won't get anywhere near the potential because they're too busy thinking in the wrong way thinking in terms of what can i do in the moment to make myself happy what can i do in the moment to give myself a little bit of a buzz uh, what can i do in the moment to to uh, fulfill my taste buds or to you know fulfill some emotional itch that I've got without really too much of a thought about what's going to happen in the future. And that's the problem. So I'm Kevin O'Hara for Habits V2. We help people to stop drinking alcohol and to reach that potential to get to the best possible version of themselves. It's a great journey, um, but that's what it is. It's a journey. Take care of yourself and I'll speak to you again soon. Onwards and upwards. Bye now.